I'm Ludwig Gorenson, you're watching Hip Hop DX, and this is my studio. Uh, you can see I have the roads, I have my computers, my setup right here. So here's where I do my film scoring, I do my producing, I do kind of everything here. And, uh, and it's like, it's uh, spend probably most of the time of my life in here. And um, if we go over here, you can see my setup. Uh, I have my computers. This is this is my rig. This is my two Macs, my PCs, my sample computers, and then I have a similar, exactly copy of my setup for my assistant. So like whenever I work on a project, I can just call him and like, yo, open up this queue, and like he start working on it. And and here I have my guitar collection. It's one guitar, one bass, guitar, one more. And then another one. Which is the first one that you got? The first one that I got in the States was this one. And I bought it at Guitar Center and it probably like charged me a thousand dollars extra for buying it there, but I didn't know anything in LA or what LA was, so I got that. <clears throat> yeah. Was this car in Google? This is my yeah, this is my the first car I ever got in uh, uh, in, in LA and my dad bought me this after I got it. So this baseball is uh, an invitation from just this guy, Jay-Z. He invited me to party once at the 4040 Club in New York. <clears throat> and then we have some fun, more fun tools around here. If you want to play like some mariachi bass guitar. Or if you have uh, Latino villains in the comedy movie and you need to make them scarier, this, was, this is a good instrument. This one is an, is an Egyptian lute, it's called an oud, and uh, and it's really cool for like ethnic, like cool stuff. I use this a lot for Teddy, uh, he scored a movie probably year one, and then this was like used a lot in it. Oh, the, uh... With Jack Black and Michael Cera. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do we have outside here? <clears throat> we have my golden... I'm having, I'm, I think I have like two more coming. So one, one more from Haim and then one more for 3005. And then here we have my assistant. He's working on the newest. How's it going? What's going on, man? Trevor Armstrong. Trevor, what are you working on? Uh, going over the new episode of New Girl right now. I just got it in. Just kind of reviewing it, going through the episode. How did you start working yeah. with Ludwig? How did I start look, working with Ludwig? Well, we've known each other for a while, and I was doing uh, just a few things for him, helping him here and there with little things. Uh, and then that just sort of progressed. And then, uh, you know, he hired me on full time to do that at a certain point, to sort of paraphrase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is my mentor and one of the great composers in uh, the world. You know, when I listen to the stuff that he does uh, for Childish Gambino, you know, I, th there's a whole universe of stuff that he could teach me that um, that I would be very grateful to know. There's one percent that Teddy like learned something with me. Like 99 percent of what I learned is from this guy. So you know, so it's, I was telling about like you know, I was sitting and being there with Tropic Thunder and Marley and me and like listening to how keep this all the music together and like learning is this I, I learned so much with the crap for, for that so and here we have a live room <coughs> where we do uh, recording in we actually did a lot of recording for camp in here oh really yeah so there's like a thing on the internet where like we have like the, where the, the choir here uh, for the choir sessions on like sunrise and out, out, outside, and we did all of it here. And yeah, and we did, we do some some live drums and some live piano tracking, and yeah, before you really start writing deeply into the the score, that first like 
you have a, a good way to do it is like hiring some musicians that you think are really interesting and like maybe a maybe a, like a percussionist that plays mostly Chinese instruments, you know, and then you have them just improvising and then and then you cut that together and make loops out of it. And like then you have your, like your own loop libraries, you know, with custom like own loops instead of like using like boring libraries that everyone else does. <clears throat> so that's a really cool way, creative way to work with. Nathan, and this is where I started. This is where we did most of the camp album. Yeah, and uh, Nathan and me are working on some shows together, and he's also working for Teddy. So we're all keeping it in the studio, keeping it in the family together. Yeah. Yeah.